If you want to learn from the pros and become the best Madden player possible, check out Playbook GG. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment below. What's going on everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to play defense in Madden 20 to get the most stops and to lock people up. If this is your first time checking out my channel and you want to stay up to date on the latest Madden tips and news all year long, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of the uploads. So today, like I said, best way to play defense. Basically what this video is going to be is kind of just the best principles for what to do on defense down in and down out. Uh, what's the best way to play base defense and kind of the philosophies that work on defense really well, at least early in the year right now. These things are going to change throughout the year. They always do. But right now, this, in my opinion, is the best way to play defense. There's kind of two principles. Um... Either you're bringing everybody, like six to seven guys, or you're bringing, you're just doing like a three, maybe four man pass rush, but you have a superstar pass rusher because those guys get off the block extremely quick, very consistently. So I did a breakdown on the three, four odd uh, about a week ago. I'll have it linked below, but I want to touch on it a little bit again, just to kind of rehash a couple things because this is one of the best formations and best ways to play defense. But I also want to touch on a couple of other formations and defensive styles a little bit later in the video. So uh, the thing with the three, four odd that's good is it it has all of the things you need that work well on defense right now number one it has a good cover four uh drop which is an all-out zone cover four and this has been one of the best base coverages best base defensive calls in the game for years now because it defends the pass and the run very well it defends what a lot of people like to do very well and it forces them to have to kind of change up their game plan and almost almost simplify their game plan to a point where most people don't even think to go that route so that a lot of people have trouble moving the ball against it but out of the same look you can send an all-out blitz very easily you can also mix in man defense which works very well and it looks the same every time so first I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the three four uh cover four um you know you've seen this play if you've played Madden at all over the past couple years you've seen this play a run a lot it's just a it's just a very very solid uh type of a defensive coverage so you have your three defensive linemen right now they're in a contain by default you don't want that on this play you want them rushing because you want to make sure you're getting good pass rush because you only have three guys rushing so the first thing you want to do is you want to hit left on the d-pad and then up on the right stick to make them rush outside you want to make sure they're on rush angles and not contains at that point you want to base a line and then show blitz to base a line it's wire triangle right on the left stick to show blitz it's wire triangle left on the left stick and that's going to bring everybody like this you got everybody in the box or all across the front and then the last thing i do is i want to shade my defense down which is wire triangle down on the right stick and that might sound like a lot but you can honestly have all of that set up before the qb even gets set i mean it's you know practice it for five minutes it's very easy it's 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 all really quick stuff because three of those adjustments are all pretty much it's just y and then you, you're flicking the joystick a certain way you can do them back to back to back now what this does is number one this scares people from running <laughs> just because of the fact that you have all these bodies up front now if you do have extra time now everybody might not be able to do this but if you do have extra time i like to kind of take the safeties and just slide them in a little bit this is optional i just feel like you'll defend the run a little bit better if you do this but if you can't do that it's not the end of the world now what this is good at doing is it defends quick flats it defends curl routes i mean not curl routes uh drag routes the two things that everybody loves to throw because you don't have to think very much they're very easy they pick up the consistent four to five yards and if you do it three times in a row you're getting a first down that's what people like to do and then the other thing people like to do is just go deep they want to throw they want to throw bombs they want to throw deep posts deep crossing routes that's a little bit harder to do against this defense because you have the four deep zones you're not going to get beat deep but it's hard to get beat underneath on the short stuff but it also defends the run very well because the safeties are in run fits, meaning they will not immediately backpedal. They're going to stand flat footed and they're going to read the play first. And if it's a run, they're going to attack. If it's a pass, once they see that it's a pass, then they'll start backpedaling. So it, de it defends the run better by default. So this is like one of the best base coverages in the game. I recommend using a team that has a superstar pass rusher, a guy like Joey Bosa. Any, if you go look at all the superstar pass rushers, there's, you know, there's a handful of them in the game. Von Miller, Khalil Mack. You know, Joey Bosa, uh, Fletcher Cox, Aaron Donald, uh, Cameron Jordan, you know, J.J. Watt. There's a, there's a lot of teams that have these guys. You want one of those guys on your team because it just makes playing defense so much easier. 
you can rush three and still get consistent pressure. So, you know, we'll see here, you know, everything's pretty much bottled up. There's nothing just like running wide open. You know, I could, I mean, I'm throwing it late, obviously, but there's just, there's nothing immediately wide open. There's a few things that, that will beat this defense very well, but you have to know what they are. And the average Madden player doesn't. The average Madden player wants to just, like I said, throw flat routes, throw drag. So like, I'm just going to like kind of clear everybody out on this, right? clear everybody out try to throw a drag and it's like every we're, we're shading down so everything's playing underneath and you see there we got about one yard on a drag because everything they're they're sitting shallow on everything uh same thing if we try to throw a flat route because we're shading down so again i'll kind of like you know clear out some of this try to throw a flat route to jimmy graham can't do it he's all over it that, that could have easily been a pick six but he swatted it and that that's what you'll get with this defense a lot when people want to throw those quick flats or sometimes drags you're going to pick six them to the house now ideally you want to you want to user control it if you're comfortable with it you want to user control one of these middle linebackers so when the play is snapped you want to sit over the middle and just kind of you know just try to bait them into throwing it to you if you can and try to get a pick uh you know, sometimes you'll get it, sometimes you won't, but you just want to sit over the middle and just kind of play safe. Just stay home. Don't over like compensate. Don't over pursue. Just try to play bend, don't break defense. And like this right here, as simple as it is, will stop half the people you play in games because they just don't know what to do versus it. Things that work very well against this coverage would be like a draw because a draw takes the safeties kind of out of the run fit because they think it's a pass. Uh, you know, something simple like a curl flat concept can beat this. So like if we show you, um, you know, put Jimmy Graham on a flat and put Allison here on a curl. You'll see a curl flat concept, you know, will beat this. Simple things will beat it, but that's not how a lot of people like to play Madden. Like I said, they want to throw quick flats, drags, they want to go deep, or they want to run the ball, and this defends all of that very well. So again, here, we'll set it up, and, you know, we'll show you. So if you try to run the ball, I'm not saying you can't beat this, you know, with a run play, but it's going to be a little bit harder because of the nature of you know, because of the type of defense that it is, you know, you see how Derwin James filled the gap there and didn't allow him to get anywhere. Now, if he missed that tackle there, Aaron Jones could have went for a big gain, but he was able to fill the gap there. Now, I'll be honest, if I'm expecting a run, like if I'm really expecting a run out of this, I probably wouldn't actually uh, show blitz because it's a little bit easier to defend the run, in my opinion, if you don't show the blitz. So it just depends. You have to you have to know who you're playing against. If you're playing against someone that runs the ball a lot, you know, maybe you don't want to show blitz as much because it, then you can get on a linebacker and, and you kind of can like manually get in there a little bit easier. But either or, the fact that you're in a cover four, it will it will slow the run down very well. Now, the great thing about this is, again, now you can go to something like the pinch buck O, which is what everybody runs, and then you do the same setup. You just base a line. With this, you don't have to actually change the defensive line or shade down. You just base a line and, and uh, show blitz. And then everybody is up here. So when you're running the cover four a lot, people are sending everybody out on routes because they're they're not expecting you to blitz because you've just been putting eight in coverage every play. So then when you blitz, you get a free guy off the edge. They're not ready for it. You're going to have guys getting open just because it's man defense. Things will be, you know, cover zero man. But you have the blitz coming in so fast and they're expecting everybody to drop back. There's nothing they can do about it. So that's really like one of the good ways to play defense out of this. Now... Let me kind of show you the other way. So when you're playing against really just heavy passers, you know, you, you can take that approach that we just did, or, you know, you can just go two man under this year because man defense is very good. There are some routes that can absolutely toast it, but most people don't know those routes. When I say the best way to play defense, I'm talking about things that beat players that, you know, they're not thinking that next step ahead. They're, they're just players that want to do what they want to do. And they're just used to what has worked in, in years past. And they're not really good at adjusting. So, like, you can go to nickel normal or nickel 335. I like 335 the best, but nickel normal will work fine as well. Again, you want to make sure you have one of those superstar pass rushers because that's what's going to make this that much better. So, you go to, like, a cover two man or a two man under, whatever the case may be. And you'll see, you know, we'll just call whatever play we call here. Um... Let's see, let's just find a play that kind of makes sense for, for man defense here. Uh, just want to call something kind of balanced, but has like decent routes on it. So you can see that the coverage is going to be pretty good. Uh, so like angle smash, I mean, that, that's pretty good. They got a couple man beating routes on there. So we have Joey Bosa, who's our superstar pass rusher. The majority of the time, he's going to get in pretty quick. Now, what you want to do is you want to use this guy here that's blitzing, right? So, I'm just going to put him in his own. We don't have to, but you just want to use this guy. And you want to sit over the middle because most of the man-beating routes are going to be something coming over the middle. Maybe a slant, maybe some type of a cross. But if you can sit on that just long enough, that pass rusher should get in the majority of the time. 
So, like, see, like, I'm sitting on the running back here. I'm not letting him go. The pass rush is actually trash right now, but you see everything else was locked up. Man defense, even if you don't have great man coverage guys, man defense is just works very well this year. Like, the only thing is that it's, like, absolutely cooking it is this running back route, but I'm sitting on it, and boom, there comes Joey Bosa. And that's going to happen, I want to say... At the bare minimum, Joey Bosa is going to get that type of a reaction at least once about every three plays. Sometimes you're going to get it multiple plays in a row. Like, look, see, two plays in a row, boom. And I'm and I'm sitting on the only route over the middle that's coming open. So as long as you can do that, you can play man defense this year. Now, if you play cover zero, man, like we just showed, like the all-out blitz, there's some ways you can bomb that for one-play touchdowns. There's certain routes that kind of go unbumpable on the outside, and they can just streak down the field. But with the two-man under, you have these two deep safeties, so you can't really bomb the coverage. There are some, like, double-move routes or some routes to the sideline that could get open, but you got to hope that they get open very quick because, again, when you got somebody like Joey Bosa, you know, he, he's going to get there almost every other play. And then, I mean, right there, we had Ingram come in, who isn't actually a superstar pass rusher in the game. He's got good pass rushing stats, but he's not, you know, what you would, he's not a superstar. He doesn't have the abilities, and, you know, even he's getting off the block very quickly. You know, again, we're just sitting on things, and look, now this time it came up the middle. Pass rush as a whole is just so much better this year, and the fact that man defense is better too. You can sit in man defense this year, but the better man defense formations like the nickel 335, the nickel, the dollar, because dollar's another one you can run this out of. Go to dollar, cover two, man. LB blitz there it's kind of the same kind of the same concept we were just running but with a um you know it's just a little bit different alignment because you have an extra defensive back on the field and one less linebacker these formations aren't going to be the strongest against the run so you have to know your opponent if you're playing someone that just only passes you can sit in man defense as long as you have just a decent secondary they don't have to be great just a decent secondary and at least a superstar pass rusher so that you're guaranteeing you can rush three guys or four if you want and you're going to get pressure you know very consistently and again you just kind of sit over the middle i mean look at joey but look how all three came free that time that's how quick they get in now, if you're playing someone that mixes in the run and the pass very well, you want to go with the first approach I showed a little bit more, where you're kind of mixing in, like, you're, you're in a little bit of a, you got bigger bodies on the field in a 3-4, you're mixing in cover four, but you're also mixing in man and the blitz, so you're kind of, like, keeping them off balance, but if you're playing just an all-out passer this year, get a good pass rusher, get a decent secondary, you can sit in dollar, you can sit in nickel, and you can play man every single play, and you can still, like, slow down the run out of these as well. You know, if you're good at shooting the gaps with a linebacker, but if you're not, you're going to get gashed in the run. But again, it's about knowing who you're playing or just knowing the situation. If it's third and 15, if it's fourth and 10, you know, your opponent's likely not running the ball. So you can go to these heavier sets. You could play man. And as long as you have one of those pass rushers, you're, you're pretty much rolling the dice that he gets in quick. And then you're seeing in these clips that sometimes even when Bosa's not getting in, the other guys are getting in because the pass rush this year has just been turned up as a whole. So that, in my opinion, is the best way to play defense this year. You know, you either go with that that kind of three, four odd, you know, same look every play, but you're mixing in, you know, plays that can both stop the pass and the run. Or if you're playing heavy passers, get yourself a good pass rusher, go all out, man. And like I said, yes, there's ways to beat it, but the average Madden player doesn't know how because they haven't had to know how for years now because man defense has been so bad. So people don't come out thinking about beating man. They don't have man beating routes on their plays a lot of times. And if they're not going to do that, there's no reason for you not to play man. Make them have to adjust. Make them have to think and do something different. If not, I mean, half the games I play, I can just sit in man all game and just completely lock people up because they they are just so used to man not being usable that they don't know how to beat it when it's actually not that hard to beat. So that, in my opinion, those are the best ways you want to play defense this year, at least early on. As it changes, I'll keep you guys updated as always. And you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.